Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So your KSA 2024 results are going to be announced soon. So you might be curious to know how KSA calculate your ranks, right? So you are in the right place. In this video, we will break down the entire process of how KSA calculate the marks. I will uh, explain all the process step by step. And especially in this year, understanding this process is very important because your KSA total marks are reduced due to the number of questions that have been deleted which were asked from the deleted portions of the syllabus right so that case total marks have been changed so we have to understand it in detail so you know case is very important exam for uh, for all the students who want to take admissions in different professional courses in karnataka so let us see them please watch the complete video so that you can understand the process in depth okay so let us start here okay so now once you see uh, what is the weightage here if we see the weightage for rank if it is 100% okay for that 50% is taken from your PU board examination okay that is your qualifying examination which is your 12th board and the rest 50% is taken from the KSA 2024 examination right so 50% from here and 50% from here so how it is calculated we'll see but before that let us see that this year KSA 2024 examination so if you see here physics in physics there are nine questions were excluded in chemistry 15 questions were excluded and in maths 15 questions were excluded so these questions were those questions which were uh, which have come from the deleted portion of the syllabus so these questions will not be evaluated it was uh, given by the notice from kset so now if you see we have total of 39 uh, questions which are deleted so in kset each question carries one mark right so what i can say now is from the total mark 39 marks will be reduced okay so now if you see the total mark which was earlier was 180 now 39 questions are excluded so the total marks new will be your 141 marks means whatever marks you will be getting from your case 2024 examination will be out of 141 and not 180 so this point is clear now let us see how it is calculated with an example so if you see uh, PUC board, for example, you have in your uh, board examination, any student has secured physics 85 marks, in chemistry 98 marks and in mathematics 98 marks. And the total comes out to be 281 out of 300. Now, if you calculate the percentage here, 281 by 300 into 100 will be getting 93.6%. Okay. Now, 50% of this means you have to divide half uh, by divide by 2. So, you will be getting around 46.83. Okay, so this is your weightage from the PU marks or you're from the qualifying examination that is 12th marks. Now, let us see from the KSET exam. So, in physics, you got suppose 14, chemistry 30 and mathematics 30. So, total mark you got is 100 out of 141. This is very important. The total mark is not 180. It is 141. Now, if you calculate the percentage here, 100 by 141 into 100, you will be getting 71.42, right? So, the Percentage you got is 71.42. Now you have to take half of it. So half of it will be 35.71. Right. So now if you add these two, we'll be getting 82.54. So according to case it, this is the mark you have secured and your rank will be predicted based on these marks. Right. So this is how the case it calculates your uh, marks and the predicts your rank based on your PUC board exam and your KSA 2024 examination. Okay. We will be making very soon a video on KSA marks versus rank. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel for more updates.